there is not many phrases, words, or names that are like Voldemort, he who shall not be named, in the world of movies and entertainment, that sends a shiver down your spine and a little bit of a cringe on your face. <laughs> that phrase is movie pass. <laughs> Oh boy! Remember Movie Pass? Yeah, I'm out a hundred bucks. Yeah, those extortion mobsters running <laughs> running that racket at Movie Pla at Movie Pass. Anyway, it, it, it's just saying the word to some movie fans elicits a quick sense of PTSD. I mean, it's just remembering how you got ripped off and how they try to screw over the entire industry. It was like living in an authoritarian regime. They just kept taking away parts of the movie pass. Yeah, without from you. warning. You went without to the movie warning. theater. Like one day you can only go to two movies. I'm like, wait, what? I mean, if something sounds too good to be true, it's probably, probably true. Is. <laughs> Man. That's, how, that's my way. See, I look at the optimistic way. You're, you're all negative. I'm, I'm living life very glass half empty. <laughs> But I want to believe that Bat Boy in the Weekly World News is real. I'm that kind of guy. I mean, he is. <laughs> it's there. But here's the thing. Guess what, guys? We talked about this a little while ago. Movie Pass is coming back. <laughs> now, before you get too angry at that notion, though, it's not Movie Pass under the name. What was the name of that country, the company again that took them over? Douchebags. Helios and oh, Helios and Matheson, right? Yeah. Helios and Matheson. It's see, it's when Helios and Matheson took over the company that they implemented the $10 a month for all unlimited movies, which we said was too good to be true, and ultimately it was. But you see, the original guy who created MoviePass sold it off. When he created MoviePass, there was nothing like it in the industry. There wasn't AMC A-list yet. I mean, the UK already had Cineworld and, and Cinepath, but here in North America, there was no Regal Unlimited. There was no AMC A-list. There was only MoviePass. Now, here in LA... I had to pit, spend 30 to 40 bucks a month on it, but I was getting my money's worth. It, they, there hadn't been anything like it. It was great. It worked. I was seeing, I was saving money every month as a movie fan. It was wonderful. It was a little pricey. Yes. All right. He owes some Matheson, takes it over. They buy it off that guy and they go $10 a month. All the movies you can see with all these underlying plans to blackmail and do extortion on the studios and on the movie theaters <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. And ultimately it completely blew up in their face and they lost everything. But now, the original owner and CEO is back. And he is launching what they are calling Movie Pass 2.0. Mm. And it says on the website, please join us for a special Movie Pass event at the Walter Reed Theater, hosted by original co founder and CEO Stacy Spikes. Watch online at moviepass.com on February 10th. That's this Thursday, I believe at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That'll be noon here. There's, I have a couple of thoughts on this. On the positive side, I'm like, you know what? More choice for the consumer is good. A movie pass coming back out and being healthy and working can be good for the industry. Number two, it's not Helios and Matheson. It's the original guy who ran things when movie pass was a good thing. So that's all good too. But I do have a couple of questions. Question number one is, when Movie Pass first came out and was working, AMC didn't have A-list. Regal didn't have Regal Unlimited. I wonder, is there a market for a Movie Pass when a lot of these other places already have them at probably cheaper prices? So that's number one. Question number two is this. What dollar amount would you have to put on a monthly subscription to a movie pass to make it financially viable? Because here's the thing. AMC and Regal and Cineworld, they can subsidize those movie prices. Because you know what? Here's the thing. AMC gets $20 a month from me for AMC A-List. I go to a hell of a lot more than two movies a month. But see, by going to the theater and getting me in the doors, I'm spending more of my money on popcorn, soda, those delicious, Ray, we just had that, that chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich. Ooh. Oh, delicious. It was wonderful. You had the dibs. The dibs. As, as we were watching Jackass. The soda, the popcorn, they have that gourmet popcorn. Now, see, here's the thing. AMC can only charge me $20 a month and be okay because I get in the theater, I'm spending tons of money. Movie Pass has no such subsidy. Every dollar they make has to come directly from their movie memberships. 
So I'm wondering how much do you have to charge for that? Because it ain't going to be 20 bucks. They ain't. I, I mean, I just don't know. So there's good, they're bad, but who knows? They may be coming out here with something completely unexpected. Like maybe movie pass is going to be reinvigorated into something we haven't even considered before. And they're just going to use the name for the name recognition. Anyway, Rob, you hear about this. What do you think about the return of movie pass under the original guy doing it? What could it be? And does it have any chance for success? No, I, I here, here's, here's the thing. Even when I got, I was gifted a movie pass for the holidays and I was, I got the year paid for, I got, it was like 120 bucks or something. Even then, when I started using it, I'm like, how do they make any movie? How do they make money on this? Because once you've gone to two or three movies, where's the money coming in from? And also, is AMC and Regal with their own movie passes now? Are they going to even allow movie pass access to their theaters? They probably won't have a choice. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. Like, I, I wonder. And how are they going to make it work? I didn't believe their business model could work in the first place, even from the get go. I mean, I wasn't going to get a movie pass, but when I got one, I started using it, and it was only like three or four months in before things started to go wonky. You know, then it's like, oh, you can only go to these shows, and oh, you can only go to these theaters, and oh, you can. I'm like, that is not what you guys said. So I don't see how they're going to be able to alleviate that problem. See, the way they got around before with AMC not wanting to work with them and Regal not wanting to work with them is the movie pass card was essentially a MasterCard. Yeah. And so when you would check in on your app, right, going to a movie, movie pass deposited the exact ticket price onto that MasterCard that just looked like the movie pass card. And then you use that at the kiosk, ran it, and then it bought your ticket. So AMC had no way of really stopping you. I think they started to come up with some ways and everything like that. But I mean, I get the money making principle because it's like a gym membership, right? You pay $35 a month. And yeah, there are going to be people like you and me and those of us in the room who will use it more than three or four times a month. But there's going to be a lot of people who pay for it, like pay for their gym membership and go maybe twice every six months, right? And that's how they were going to make money. But can they now? And then obviously it didn't work. Like you were saying, it, it, it repped a lot of people off. Chris, I never asked, have you, were you ever a participant? Did you partake in the movie past goodness? What kept you away from it? I never did it. I just didn't think it was something that sounded good. <laughs> like I was, it was very much a, I don't believe you. Okay. And now, I mean, I live walking distance to a Regal, so I'm going to go Regal Unlimited. And that way I get the discount on snacks. I'm not a big snack person at the movies, honestly. I don't like popcorn. I don't know. What? I know. I, know. I don't. I'm not a popcorn person. It doesn't do it for me. And I don't like soda. And I'm lactose intolerant. So do you like, hate puppies? I love puppies. No. You know this about no. me. You must hate sunshine and I just don't puppies? like salty styrofoam. It doesn't oh. do it for me. Oh, man. Shots fired. But, I mean, like, Logan goes and he wants nachos and hot dogs. And, you know, he's, like, all of 170 pounds, so he can do that. So, <laughs> like, I like that 10% discount for him. Uh, there's not really any benefit to me getting a movie pass. Well, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about this movie pass? Make it sure. What are you expecting or maybe hoping to hear on this event they're apparently doing on Thursday? Is it going to be the same sort of thing, just kind of reinvigorated? Is it going to be something totally new? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.